I'm Rick Johansson, and this is the Iron Echo Design Channel. Today, we're gonna to work on building a circular logo using beginner techniques in Inkscape. And we'll start with an example. Got Chipotle, text on the top, text on the bottom, and then a nice graphic, something uh, chilly or something in the center. Indiana Pacers, same thing, text on the top, wrapped around the bottom, and then some type of uh, graphic with the basketball icon. And then Starbucks. So you can see this is pretty basic stuff we can create here in Inkscape. And let's go through it. So we'll start with choosing the circle and ellipsis tool right here. So click on that, shift and control, and then open up the circle to about the size you want. This is creating the outside perimeter of our circular logo. And right now the stroke is, that's only one millimeter. If you don't have the fill and stroke menu, it's this thing here with the paintbrush in the corner. I've got mine open, so I'll choose stroke style. I'm gonna go with 4.0 millimeters. That gives you, it's, it's your preference. You can change any way you want, but I think this will look good for our purposes here. And now we need to make the inside circle. So choose the create circles and ellipses again, shift control. And this is again, personal preference. You can eyeball it, maybe a little smaller. And then to line it up, make sure you have one clicked shift control the other and then you want to go to the align and distribute menu if this is not open it's up here this these bars mine's open if you have relative to last selected they're both chosen so i can click on that this is centers it and this ver makes it vertically centered see how it moved a little bit and that is a nice even inner circle outer circle but i want to show you the cool way to do it Go back to your big circle and then push Control D and that duplicates it. So you have two on top of each other. Then go to Path, Dynamic Offset and that little diamond does the magic. Pull it down and you can pull in your circle and, and it's automatically even. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna undo back to our, our first way. So this is back to the normal way if you didn't wanna try the Dynamic Offset. Now let's give the big circle a color. So it's called the Fill. For now, we'll make it just yellow, just so you can see what's going on. And then the inner circle should be, it should be populated also. We have to take the center part out because we're gonna put the text on the top and the bottom and we have to remove the inner part. So click on the inner and the outer, then go to path, difference. And now you have your inside part. We're gonna put our graphic and then the outside, it's time to type the text. I just started this YouTube channel and one of the first tutorials we did was wrapping text on the top and the bottom. So let's do it again. Choose the create circles and ellipses, move over a little bit, but not too far because we're gonna use this as a reference. Shift control will open up a new circle, text selection, and we'll write Santa Monica. You can choose any town you want. I'm gonna go with Santa Monica. That's way too big. It's way too big because we're putting it inside this part right here. So let's go with 125, too small, 140. 140 could be good. I don't, I'm not sure I like, this is just a basic font because we all have it, Arial. But let's go with a little bit bigger, a little thicker. Then you can change the thickness if you go back to your fill and stroke menu. You gotta have this, the stroke actually activated on your text and then stroke style, go with 2.0. See how it made it thicker? Just looks better for a logo, Santa Monica. And now I wanna space it out a little bit, some, some character spacing. Choose the edit text up here. This is your character spacing. Let's go with 20, it's too much. 10, 12, did it, did it move? 12, okay. And now I wanna align it with my uh, circle here. You can do it manually, but if you wanted to be precise, align, distribute, relative to last selected, choose both, and then this centers it. Then text, put on path. So Inkscape crashed, and that happens. Sometimes, um, I don't know if it's a screen recorder or what, but just make sure you save your work often. But let's get back to it. So I just, I brought us back up to speed. We need to now take Santa Monica and put it on top of our logo. So let's move back over here. Click on it and then choose the handles to spin it around and we'll see how close we got. And this is the cool part about having the reference circle. If you click on the reference circle and hit and control shift and you can now bend your text 
to make it exactly where you want it to go. And we'll come back and make this perfect later. But that's looking pretty good. We're just a little right there. Okay, let's do the bottom circle now. So a new circle, because this one's tied to the first one. Shift control, it's gotta be a bigger circle because it's gonna sit, you're gonna flip the text, it's gonna sit on the inside of the circle. Go to our font and we'll do California. You can do any, any state you want, any place you want, any planet, anything. Too big, I think we were at, I think we did 130. And then I'm gonna go change the stroke. Click on that one, Two, 2.0 for the kerning, the actual character spacing, you have to widen it quite a bit and you'll see why, because it's gonna get crunched back in when it's flipped, so we'll do 50. And then shift, shift, align relative to last selected, center it, text, put on path, object, flip vertical. Click off of everything and we've got it underneath. Let's pull it over to our logo in progress. Did I spell California right? California. We're close, choose a reference circle. All right, good enough for now. Okay, moving on, you still with me? Look at this, look what you did, beautiful. But now we need to make the graphic part. So one of the other tutorial we did was how to actually pull out, uh, make a vector, take out a background, and this is the image we use. So if you followed along and you have it, let's do it again. Click on the image, go to path, trace bitmap. And if you've never used this tool, this is single scan under brightness cutoff and it's set to 0.25. That's what we had before. And I know that works for this. Push okay. Move that out of there. And then look what you just made. Get rid of the reference photo. And now we can clip out the part we want. So you can pick the rectangle tool and we're just putting it around the asset we're gonna take out. Select the new rectangle, the background part, object, clip, set. And that's what we need. Now this is a vector, so you can scale it and it doesn't lose any fidelity. And now it's ready to go into our logo. Let's get back up there. It's gonna be just plain beautiful, but we need to clip it again. So zoom out a little bit, get your circle. I've got a fill here so it's easier to work with. I'm just trying to make it so it fits on the inside so I can clip the lifeguard tower the way I want it. Choosing the lifeguard tower, I can bring it to the top so I can see it better. And now I can, I think that's good. So to clip it, we're gonna choose the red circle, then shift, choose your lifeguard tower object clip set and look at that you can change the color back to black if you want or pink or red or anything but we'll just keep it black for now look at this thing is it done is it done it could be done but no 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 we have more we need to make this thing pop we're going to add some color and i have a shortcut i've got a color palette here it's like a sunset beachy feel and we're going to slide this behind the logo and to drop it down some levels, these little up and down arrows, with like they look like books to me, I'll lower it to the bottom. And I want the dark red to look like the horizon line, like that's the, the ocean. That's about right. This yellow perimeter is clashing, so I'll take the fill out and add maybe a neutral white for now. And now we need to clip the colors. So you can take out our beautiful lifeguard house and let's go get a circle. I'm just trying to clip, but I just want to get the um, my sunset colors. So I'll choose the new circle, the background, object, clip, set. Look at that. Look at it. Put our lifeguard back in there. Are we done? Are we done? We need something up here. We need something. Well, I just happen to have a royalty-free picture of some pelicans we can use. And we'll go to our trace bitmap exercise. I got it on single scan, 0.55 update. Okay. And there is our vector pelicans. I can take out the new asset we have. 
but I don't, I don't want this anymore. I don't need all of them. I just need three. Close that. I'll get my Bezier pen and I'll just take the middle three because they look good. Shift, choose the whole thing, and then object, clip, set. And now we can bring it all together. So let's get our birds. They're going to fly in behind the lifeguard tower. They're going to go right off into the sunset. And we'll make them a little bigger. Space it out. And that'll about do it right there. So we'll zoom out and take a look what we made. There you go. There's a basic circular logo built at Inkscape. So have fun with it. And thanks. Thanks.